Layers. Wow, get ready for this. There's a lot to this one. So under tools, well, now let's go under projects. Let's make this default sphere. We're going to quickly look at layers, and I mean that loosely because there's a lot to layers now. So I'm going to make five layers. And I got to rename them because I'll lose track of what I'm doing. So I'm going to name this one M1. I'm going to rename this M2. C1. C2. And S. And I'll go into what those are going to be for me to know what they are. Okay, this is going to be mask one, mask two, color one, color two, and sculpt. Okay, so just get that in your head. Now, what's going to get you all the time with the new layers is the fact that you have this record button. If you do not hit the record button, nothing happens whatsoever. Okay, so just remember there's a record button, and I got to mentally put that in my head too that there is now a record button. So, record button. I'm going to go over to this mask brush, the one that allows you a marquee selection mask. And I'm going to put a mask here using control and command. And I'm just going to draw something like there I go, the Lego person. And then I'm going to go over to mask two. Notice mask one shuts off. Hmm. Okay, so let's go in here, make a different guy. Now, this is how masking works. It's just an on and off, ones and zeros. If you like it, turn it on, turn it off. If you don't, if you don't want it, there we go. So here's the thing I would tell you is, if you're masking off a character, let's say a shirt, and you're masking off the same area over and over again, it would be better if you stored it on a layer. That way later on, M1 could be your shirt. M2 could be your helmet or whatever else. Now that's a pretty cool feature. Let's look at color. Okay, so this time, make sure records on. Red. And I'm just going to put color out here. I'm going to put... Okay. And then on this one, I'm going to record it. Notice the red doesn't go away. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm only recording on C2. So I'm going to put the blue out there. And I'm just going to put some blue and some blue. Now, if I take this and turn the eye off, I can store colors or textures on different layers using polypaint. So polypaint can be now stored on layers. Think how powerful that is. You know, that means technically I could go in here to a texture and make me one of these and dial that down just a little bit and move it just a little bit, maybe right here. I'll make his nose wood and Z on the keyboard allows you to go in here. Now, see, it's warning you, hey, you should turn on record. Okay, there we go. Z again. And to get out of this one, it's uh, Shift and Z. There we go. So Shift and Z gets out of the spotlight. So now I can unrecord it and look at texture is recorded on that layer. Now, let's say I need to get the layer clear. So I'm going to take the red and delete it. How I do that is Alt on the keyboard. Again, record. I don't know if I like the record button. Uh, so record it, and Alt on the keyboard allows you to delete the color off of it. Okay. Because technically, think about it. There is no. This isn't a white color this is actually no color based upon material so alt will delete all color from that material the last one is sculpt 
So some things are different with Sculpt, not much, but let's record something with Sculpt. Uh, let's go Z add. This is for people that just are kind of new to sculpting with the layers. So I can add Sculpt to uh, object, and this little dial dials it up and down. Okay, and I can go in negative if I wanted to. But let's say I wanted to get it off that layer, but I still wanted to keep the layer. Well, here's how you do that. First off, you can hide it, go to Morph Target, store it, go back here, turn it back on, and then you can grab the Morph Brush, which is located here, and then hit record there we go and that's how you delete a sculpt off a layer okay in the next video I'll show you something different about this that has changed um, but I want to cover it in another video so please move on to the next video